everybody welcome back to my channel we're here with another video and in today's video i will be using my 2xl coffin tips no c curve from bomb nails also y'all already know my 14 kalinsky brush from bomb nails also i will be using blossom pink and um hollows eve also i'll be using this white and i was gonna use madam glam's pink madness but i wound up not using this so let's get into the set, y'all. How's everybody's week going? <sighs> y'all, today was a stressful ass week. Um, I will get into that in a second. Um, I wanted to let y'all know this set was inspired by Gabby from Bomb Nails. She did, I don't know if everybody's seen, but on her um, Instagram, she did a little swatch, um, just a little inspiration for people to go off of. She used Hollow's Eve and Blossom Pink. It was such a beautiful ombre, y'all. I did my own little mix to it. She put some ghosts on there, and I thought it was so cute. So I thought I'd do a little remake of it. My own little, you know, my own little styles, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Um, let's get into the set, y'all. Today has been a rough week, y'all. Like, I don't know, my week just started out rough this weekend, uh, y'all. I've been looking for my one credit card for like a week now, and it's crazy because I just got this credit card, y'all. Uh, I I hadn't, t like, my other one expired, and I hadn't had one in months, so I'm like, you know what, let me get this credit card. Like, I'm not using it. It'll get shut off. You, like, when you, if anybody knows anything about credit cards, like, if you don't use them for a while, they will either shut them off or, like, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm like, damn, I haven't used this one in six months. I use it for little things, cigarettes or whatever. So um, I was like, oh, my old card expired. I got a new one, um, brand new, y'all. And I have so many cards, like bank cards and credit cards and things like that. Like, it's hard to keep track sometimes. So um, I just got it in the mail. So uh, one morning, um, my daughter wanted to run over to the store with her, uh, with her brother. And I'm like, yeah, you know, take this new card, blah, blah, blah. Y'all can use it for snacks or whatever. Um, I got it back, I feel, and then they went to the store one more time, and I never saw it again, and y'all, uh, I was looking for it the other night, because I'm like, where is this card at, like, why did I just get this card, and, um, yeah, and, <laughs> dude, I go on it, y'all, just to see what my last transactions are, just to see, you know what I'm saying, like, what was, what's going on with it, because I, I really haven't seen it, and I don't know where it would have went, so either my kids dropped it, or I dropped it, long story short, y'all, there's over, like $500 in charges at a Sunoco in Cohoes. So whoever, like it's the town across from me. So whoever got it must have picked it up and has been spending on it, but it doesn't alert me. Um, I don't know why they don't alert me. My Capital Ones alert me anytime there's a purchase made, but these ones don't alert me. So this particular company doesn't alert me. So I'm like, damn, what the heck? I'm like, how the heck? One thing is these scammers are very nifty, y'all. How the hell... Do you spend $600 at a Sunoco in a four-day period? Like, you must be buying mad bogeys, my guy. Like, <laughs> you gotta be. Don't don't listen to my squeaky chair, y'all. Don't listen to it. It's crying. It's squeaking, baby. It's squeaking. But, y'all, like, what are you doing at Sunoco? Like, let's be, let's be for real. So, I'm telling my, um, my guy about it or whatever, and everything I talk to him about, he's so funny, y'all. He's like, press charges. <laughs> And I'm like, damn, you just want me to press charges? He's like, nah, call the cops and press charges. And y'all, he's like, uh, he's like a sweet gangster. Like, he's so cute. Um, he's so freaking nice. Uh, we have such a great time. We laugh. Now, this was the guy I originally was talking about. Um, like who he really got his stuff together. Like he got a car, he got his own place. You know what I'm saying? Like we're on the same vibration as far as like jobs and things like that. And like, I feel like God, at first we weren't like hanging out as much. Um, I think he, you know, he has his own past traumas. I have my own past traumas, but now we're hanging out like a lot more, seeing each other a lot more. I'm, I'm allowed in the house. Like he let me in his house, y'all. That was like a big step for him. So like, he's just perfect, dude. He's just so freaking nice. Just a freaking big, sexy teddy bear. And yeah, I'm like really excited because um, even though he says he doesn't want to be, he's, you know, he's scared to get into a relationship again. You know, he's had all these, um, I know that's where it's going to go. I just know we just have way too much fun together. It's like genuine. Like, I feel like I've known him for like a very long time. Like, have you ever met somebody? And this happens with very few people in my life. Like I've only ever had this happen with one other person 
where I felt like I've known them my whole life. Like, I didn't just meet them, like, four or five months ago, you know? And it's just been so... I don't know. It's just been a breath of fresh air since I met him, even though we weren't, we were hanging out. I, I actually kind of gave up on it because, um, you could tell he did, he wanted to hang out, but he didn't want to hang out at first because he was scared that, I guess he was scared to catch feelings or get serious, but we've been hanging out definitely a lot more. We see each other. We talk on the phone every day. Like we have been, um, yeah, so it's been going well and I really enjoy this person. Like their company is great. They're freaking hilarious. Like we just have such a good time together. We laugh. Um, we joke like just really good friends. So that's really nice. I'm actually um, going to see him after he gets out of work. I'm so proud of him. He actually just started a new job. Like you have to have you have to talk to people y'all on the same vibration as you like, you know what I'm saying? Like have their stuff together. It's hard to talk to people who don't have their stuff together. And that's usually like what I wind up finding is like m these guys who don't have their shit together and I wind up finding that out later, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, he's just such a nice guy. He doesn't want nothing from me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he pays for stuff. Like I've never y'all, like every one of my relationships, I don't know if it's a, if I attract guys like that or I just feel like I have to always, you know, uh, you know, foot the bill. I don't know what it is, y'all, but I don't feel like that with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's like genuine, you know what I'm saying? Like he pays for stuff. He, like, if I bring my card out, sometimes he'll be like, no, nah. I mean, there's times where it's okay to bring my card out. You know what I'm saying? He'll let me pay for my own shit. But a lot of the time it's, it's just genuine. And like, I don't know, I dropped a straw one time in the store and like, he was like, no, don't pick that up. And he went and got me new, like just such a nice freaking gentleman. Like, you know, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I just feel like whoever lost this person, in their life that was their that that was that was a huge loss for them because he's such a good guy all right enough, enough rambling about him I just y'all I don't know I might be in love <laughs> I might be in love <laughs> no let me stop let me stop but no he's really like genuine look at this application y'all like look at it look at it oh my god it's so great I love this blossom pink it's one of my favorites um I got to use my bronze nude, y'all. I haven't used my bronze nude, but these were all just so perfect. And I got these 2XLs, y'all, because I'm sick of cutting down my 3XLs. Like, I go through so many 3XLs cutting them down. So I wanted to do kind of shorter nails. Um, I did these Monday night. Yeah, I did these Monday, so I didn't want to be um, on, you know, recording forever. I had work Saturday and Sunday. I just kind of chilled um, with my friend and we had a great time. So I didn't really have time to, um, do now. So Monday night I did them and I didn't want them to be too long and drawn out, but yeah, this was a really cute set. Again, I got this from Gabby. She did the ombre with the hollows Eve and the blossom pink with the ghosts. Um, I did a little rendition, you know, put my own spin on it, but it, it is inspired by her. I thought that was such a cute, um, set. Y'all seen Gabby's new sets with the eyeball? Y'all, she's getting out of control over there, man. I wish I could come up with stuff like that. I don't come up with stuff like that. Like, I, I try, like, and you know what also makes it hard? I do Freestyle Friday right next to the day. I record my video for the week. Now, it used to be two videos for the week, but I, once I went back to work, I had to cut it down to one video a week because I just don't have the time anymore, but... Doing nails so close to each other kind of cuts my creative block off and then to boot I have so much you know bomb nails that um I always like I think I have to put some product away in, in things because I always have um this block when I'm looking at all these acrylics that I have I'm like dude I could do this I could do that and then the nails always come out either like you know too much or um yeah so we're trying to figure that out over here you know it's it kind of gets hard I know some of the greatest like people who like do nails and get creative blocks you know um and I wanted to also recreate one of Gabby's uh not one of her sets she actually didn't do this she said she was going to do it but then decided to do something else um so this isn't really a recreation of one of her sets this is more like um oh my god get off my phone you gnat no I'm getting gangster sorry <laughs> sorry this is more like a recreation of her inspo swatch off of her instagram i know everybody saw it it was so freaking cute i've never seen that anywhere else um there was <laughs> never mind never mind <laughs> uh yeah so 
let's enjoy the application y'all i love y'all and i will be back i will be back because actually y'all i found an easier way like when you're drawing ghosts there's a couple ways to draw ghosts you could do like the blobby ghosts or you could do the ghosts there i do my big ghosts in the circle with the not the circle but the like the teardrop kind of looking thing with its tail and then i do my little ghosts with a dotting tool and i'll show you that way on another set um but yeah so far so good the nails came out really cute these are also glow in the dark y'all they will be the ghosts will be glow in the dark and you'll see how i do that and i will be back y'all once this application we got some filing we got everything going on in this video so after all that i will be back y'all enjoy the application i love you thank you for following me welcome everybody who's new and enjoy the application girls yeah baby oh
Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, I'm back. So right here, we're just going in with some clear acrylic so I can semi-cap this glitter. This helps with the ombre, y'all. It helps with the blend on darker colors especially, but also glitters. You don't need to do this, but it does help, y'all. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here, just going in with a little bit of clear and uh, covering up this glitter. And then I'm gonna start my ombre. This ombre was so pretty, y'all. Um, and I knew it would be because I seen Gabby do it on her Instagram. So this was really pretty, y'all. Um, enjoy the ombre. I'll also, after after ombre, I will also be capping um, the ombre nail and the glitter nail. These covers, you don't have to, um, none of Bomb Nail's cover colors, you have to cap. They all work perfectly fine without capping. Um, also, I accidentally didn't record the first bead y'all and I caught myself quick I caught myself quick y'all I did I did um also I tilted my camera in a different angle um I like to use different angles sometimes just to see where the better lighting is and I noticed when I tilt my camera a little bit upwards it's instead of having it directly because usually I'll, I'll record with it directly facing down over me like I do on lives. But I did notice if I tilt it up a little bit, pointing more towards the back of my desk um, and have it at that tilt, I do get better lighting. <clears throat> also, with the new update, my iPhone stated that 
uh, when I did start recording my video, it had a warning stating that um, I had other apps open and other apps can decrease the quality of your video while you're recording. I never knew that. Um, usually I try to clear all my apps out before I record and go live anyway. Um, so that's a good thing. But y'all, if you have an iPhone, the new update says if you have other apps open while you're recording, um, it can, you know, take down the quality of your video. So that's a good thing to know. Not that I do that, but it's a good thing for people to know. Always clear your apps out. So yeah, um, that's why you're going to see me um, at the bottom of the screen a little bit because I have it tilted. You could see it more when I if I zoomed out. But yes, I have it tilted in a way where it's not a shadow because like I said, when I have my phone facing straight down, it's there seems to be shadowing. Um, with this right here, I just have to get used to holding my hand in the position of the camera. Um, so yeah, I definitely like this way better. It's easier to work um, instead of, like I said, having it right above you where they're shadowing. Also, um, it hurts to contort your hand right in front of you like that. So yeah, this helps with a lot of different things. I just kind of have to get used to it um, and have my whole finger in frame because if you look at like here, it's at the bottom, whereas it's usually right center. Um, so yeah, I just got to get used to that. That's going to be something I'm going to have to pay attention to. So yeah, y'all, I'm just doing this ombre real quick um, and then I'm going to cap and then we're going to go in and file with our bomb nails 8080 grit file if you haven't gotten you some of those files definitely head over there and get you some files and buffers they are amazing also y'all my code is always linked below for bomb nails it's page x nails with one eye my youtube is page with two eyes but my code is page with one eye x nails 15 for 15 percent off all bomb nails products it is always also linked in the description below also with um, my other codes and also with Gabby's code for Blue Streak Crystals. If anybody's interested in crystals or high quality crystals, um, as y'all know, Swarovski stopped selling to the nail industry. I don't know why. I heard they were going to come back and start selling again because they lost a lot of revenue. You got to understand, like, I bet I can guarantee any amount of money. Nail techs um, were most of their clientele when it came to nail charms. You know what I'm saying? Because... I have some Swarovski crystals that are like decorations for like a hutch, like my Swarovski clown um, and some other things that are worth money. Um, they're known for high quality crystals, uh, but they just start. They just I don't know why they did that for the nail techs. I guess they wanted to, it to be an ex more exclusive brand, but they're still selling Swarovskis, y'all. So I don't know if you could get the Swarovskis, but you can definitely get the high quality Serenity crystals. And the Preciosa, which are, are they Precosa or Preciosa? I don't know, whatever. Um, they are very high quality and great. I actually have me some Swarovskis, um, and they are just as fabulous, the Serenity Crystals and the Preciosas. Um, you can't even really tell the difference. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for some high quality crystals, Bomb Nails has a discount code, always linked in the description below. Also, if you're not following Gabby, go ahead over there and follow Gabby. Also, make sure you're following my girl, Rachel Acrylics. Um, and yeah, anyway, y'all, I am going to let y'all watch. I'm going to be capping the glitter again and the ombre. I will not be capping any of the other nails because those are covers and they don't need to be capped. And here we go. Anyway, y'all, how's everybody doing? What's everybody's week looking like? I can't wait to see y'all for Freestyle Friday again. Y'all, I don't know what we're going to, uh, what we're going to do here Freestyle Friday. Um, I might be switching it up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, I'm just getting a little, uh, ahead of myself sometimes. Like, you know, sometimes I just, I don't know if I'm going to start doing it twice a month. I don't know if I'll be doing, I don't know yet. So I will actually start talking about that once I know, <laughs> instead of prematurely talking about it, you know, cause we never know. Um, but yeah, y'all, look how pretty this is. This is a purple, but it's like a reflective blue purple. It's so freaking pretty. I love it. Um, I think this is sold out on the website. I th The last time I checked, she had a couple more full collections um, of the Halloween collection. Um, her uh, fall collection is still in stock. Uh, those are sold separately. Also, she just restocked her new nudes, I think. She just restocked some of them. I know on a live, somebody was telling me that they were back in stock. I have to go look, y'all. 
um, she sells out quick um, of, you know, she's got a lot of support. So, um, and she's getting out there more. So the more and more it's going to be selling out quicker. Uh, yeah, she just sells out so freaking quick now, y'all. Like, it's like you get, you got to get in there when you're in there. I'm surprised we still got files and damn buffers. Those will be gone soon too. Um, so <laughs> yeah, y'all just an amazing brand y'all. I love bomb nails. I stand by bomb nails. Like this is such an amazing brand. I am so freaking blessed to have found this company. Um, like I said, it just kind of fell in my lap. I've always known Gabby as a content creator, but like I said, I never knew. Um, she, and I've been following Gabby a very long time, but like I said, I always used to mute and watch just the nails. Um, so I never knew until Valentine's Day, this woman had her own brand, her own collection. Um, so yeah, that was just a static, but I don't think, I think she only came out with a Christmas collection before that Valentine's Day collection. So I wasn't like too late. Um, you know, but yeah, that, I hope she comes out with that V-Day collection again, y'all. Y'all seen me use, um, what was it? Heartbreaker on Freestyle Friday. That V-Day collection was an amazing collection, y'all. Those were the butteriest pinks that I've ever had. I told y'all I struggled with pinks in the past. It didn't matter who they were from. Dynamic, uh, I had a couple from Zule. They were just horrible, just the way... Just a way. Now, not to knock anybody's brand at all. Pigments are the worst, y'all. I noticed this with pigments with a lot of brands, not just those. Those just happen to be the brands that I bought at the time. This Valentino as well. When it comes to pigments, y'all, there's so much pigment in some of these powders that um, you're not working with acrylic. That's why they tell you to paint it on the nail and cap it because there's no, there's no strength to pigmented acrylics like that. There really isn't. So... Um, they would fluff out my brush like crazy. Like I couldn't even use them. Um, and yeah, so I just had horrible, horrible luck with pinks. Except if they were nudes. But if they were those really dark pinks, like the ones I got from Bob Nails, I always had trouble with them. Now these ones are not, they are just so freaking buttery. So beautiful. Like I said, I hope she comes out with that whole collection again. It was such a beautiful collection for V-Day. Um, cause we are approaching, you know, we're approaching the winter y'all. It's getting cold out. It's still semi like cool here in New York, but we're about to get cold. It's going to happen soon. Um, and yeah, we're going to be battling the heat back. I mean the cold back here, baby, but y'all no, no funny shit. I rather battle the cold than the heat. I'm not even going to play. I, the, the sweat that was going on back here, uh, this summer was crazy. I, I know, I know y'all seen it on a video, dude. Okay. I had a rag on my head double chin was out of control baby it was going crazy um <laughs> yo and y'all i really love this clear this is bomb nails clear i am always using bomb nails clear in my videos i love this clear i am i work with it great it's way better than mia secrets it doesn't um uh what you call what is that when it's cold cold it doesn't um crystallize um, you know, a lot of when it's cold and it's not even like the acrylics fault y'all when it's cold, sometimes acrylics can crystallize. I don't care. Pigments do it. And sometimes clears do. Um, but this clear has not done that. The last time I was on freestyle Friday, I had thought a little, it did it a little bit, but it wasn't, it was actually the neon that I was using, um, for that particular set. Cause it was very cold. Like I said, it's not only, um, clears that can do it it could be very pigmented colors because again these are not fully acrylic colors they're pigments so yeah there was a little uh i don't think it was the clear at all but yeah this is a bomb clear i love it it doesn't run everywhere you see how it just stays and you're just able to like i freaking love it i have not heard one complaint about this clear it's freaking amazing y'all it's amazeball y'all and if y'all haven't got snow the snow bomb yet I don't even know if that's still in stock, but if you haven't got Snow Bomb, I'm about to do a set with Snow Bomb coming up here soon. Snow Bomb is going to be my go-to when the, the winter season comes. Such a beautiful white. I'm actually about to get me another uh, four ounce of that because, y'all, I would hate for that to sell out and never see it again. Um, that was a groundbreaking uh, white acrylic. There is no other white acrylic. I don't care what anybody says. I was on TikTok in a live the other day and I was watching um a Latina girl I forgot her name she's really good nail tech she's really 
bitchy though okay she's not very nice to like followers like if they ask her a bunch of questions but she does bomb nails so i just I, now when i go into tiktok i don't go in the lives to conversate i just go to watch nails sometimes um here's my bomb nails 80 80 grip file this is probably the third time i'm using this um this is a yo these files don't they don't wear down y'all they are amazing amazing and they're beautiful so i was watching her um and she was talking about how she can't find a good white. And somebody somebody said, you need to try Dynamics white. And I'm just sitting here like, what? If that's the white that you recommend to this woman? Uh, freaking up. Sorry. Dynamics white? Listen, first of all, Dynamics black was all right. But it's not like uh, Gabby's black, okay? Um... Gabby's black is actually buttery. Her snow bomb is freaking amazing. So I got in the comments. I was like the first time I commented on TikTok and I said, no. F Dynamics White. You need to go to Bomb Nails White. And I messaged her and I gave her my code and I said, when you try this white, go get it. I said, I promise you, you can come find me and punch me in the face if I'm lying. That white is so freaking amazing. That is a ground... Nobody has that formula. Nobody. I've been to Young Nails. I have Dynamic. I have Not Polish. I have Valentino White. I have every freaking white. I have Elegance White. I have every freaking white you can imagine. And not one white that I own. If they either fluff my brush up, they're chalky, or they dry too fast. Not one white compares to that Bomb Nails White. That is the formula nobody will ever find. And I'm so happy because, like, let me tell you, we got it, baby. We got it. Nobody else got it. So I recommended that to her. I told her, straight up, Dynamics Trash. Dynamics White is Trash. Go to Bomb Nails. I told her she's a Latina woman. You're supporting a Latina brand. Um, and she's like, I'm going to go try it. So I told her, just go to my page, check out my discount code. You get 15% off. And I'm not even trying to push product because of a discount code. No, y'all, that's not what this is. This white, how dare you recommend <laughs> Dynamic Nails White to this woman. Uh, what is Dynamic Nails White like? Let me compare it to something. I feel like it's like kind of like a step down from Knot Polishes. But if y'all have ever used Knot Polishes White or their Milky White, that crap fluffs up your brush. Like the acrylic that sticks in your brush with those is out of this world. Out of this freaking world. You cannot even... It's... And they're a reputable acrylic company, okay? They they do have some good acrylics. So, yeah, they couldn't even get it right. Not Young Nails couldn't get it right. Bomb Nails got it right, baby. Bomb Nails got it right. So, now we're just furling. Furling away, baby. Furling away. Um, I tried I tried to speed this up a little bit. I try not to do all the nails either on camera. I was supposed to cut a little most of this out, actually. Um, because you, filing is repetitive, y'all. Everybody knows how to file. Um, I like to have it in here, but I don't want to show the full thing. I guess I showed the full thing in here, you know? So, yeah, kudos to me for that. <laughs> kudos to me for that. But, y'all, these files are freaking bomb. Um, what has been happening lately? I don't know what's been happening lately. I've just had a rough week. Um, it's been, you know, oh, uh, aside from my credit card, Tuesday morning, because I'm off Fridays and Mondays and every other Thursday. Any other time I'm in the office, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm always in the office. And Tuesday morning, I woke up. I didn't hear not one of my three alarms, y'all. Not one of my kids, who, by the way, were all up. My kids get themselves up for school and ready. They just, I leave their clothes out the night before, and they do all the rest. And not one of these little girls woke me up. And my, I'm yelling, I'm just like, yo, you couldn't wake me up? She's like, how am I supposed to know? You got to work today. I said, I go to work every Tuesday and Wednesday, man. So, yeah, so, like, I'm like, dude, if you don't see me up, you need to come in and wake me up, dude. Yeah, so I, I just gave up. And then that same day, I found out about my card. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just taking a personal day, baby. I'm just going to... Y'all, I slept till 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, y'all. I slept all day till my kids got home. And then I got up and cooked dinner and went to bed at like 11, y'all. I was like, what the heck is wrong with me, man? But I feel like the, ch the change of the weather... Um, you know, that time of the month, it's just like, for me now, it's just like, I get tired, man. I'm getting old. I'm getting old, baby. I'm getting old. I got to get my health together, start losing some weight because baby, my back hurts and it's just going to get, it's not going to get easier as I get older, you know? So I'm just going to go in here, 
file my cuticles, uh, get my shape, you know, file the nails, and then I'm going to go in and buff what um, I'm actually using my old buffers in this because I don't want to, I still have a, a couple of my old buffers left, so I want to use them before I use my good bomb nails ones, you know, just to get rid of them and use them. Um, but yeah, watch the uh, file and y'all and I will be back. I will be back when we do some nail art. I love y'all and I'll be back, baby. Okay, baby. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm back. So we're about to get into some nail art here. This I wanted to try out. I've seen this done a couple times. Not too much people don't do this. Um, but I have seen it done a couple times where people draw with a pencil. Um, and instead of uh, going in and freelancing the ghost, I decided let me draw them with this pencil because I don't want to have to keep, you know, going in. Now these ghosts, ghosts in general do not have to be perfect. They're like, you know, ghosts are like flowy like creatures. So they don't have to be perfect, y'all. They just got to look like a ghost. You know what I'm saying? So I like to do this little... For my big ghosts, I like to do them like this. And for my tinier ghosts, I like to do them with um, with my dotting tool. And I'm going to do another set with some ghosts. So I'm going to show you now. I'm going to go in with my bomb nails white. I love this white, y'all. Um, one thing that um, I didn't do that I should have done was top coat these before I did this design. Um, only because... When I do the glow, I use acrylic to do the glow. And yeah, so most people, when they do like sweater nails or these type of designs, they will do top coat first and then they'll do the design, put the acrylic on and it'll be kind of um, like a sweater nail. It'll be off the nail. I didn't do that, y'all. I totally forgot to do that. So I just top coated everything. It still came out bomb. They just didn't look like they were like abstractly off the nail. They just looked like... Um, yeah, they just looked like they were painted on and, uh, you know, polished over, but I did put a glow acrylic. I actually mixed, uh, this glitter I got from Walmart with my glow eggshell from Amber Dips a lot. I only have glow powders from her. 
I don't own any other glow powders. Um, I think actually I own a couple from Dynamic, um, but they're not like white. The only uh, glow powder that I own that's semi-white is the Eggshell Glow um, from Amber Dips a lot. So I took that and um, some sparkles from Walmart. Did I get them from Walmart? No, I got them from Amazon. It's it, I think you could buy them in Walmart though. It's like one of those um, square things of a bunch of glitter. <laughs> it's, a, it's a glitter box. I don't know y'all, but, um, I really had fun with these. I thought they were really cute. I wanted them to glow and I'm like, damn, how am I going to make these ghosts glow? And I'm like, Oh, I can use acrylic. Eh? Uh, so yeah, so that's what we're doing. This actually drawing pre drawing, even though they don't look uh, good, it's just a little like guideline. Um, and it helped me a lot, y'all, because if I would have just went in freelancing these uh, ghosts without these little, uh, without these guidelines right here that I made, um, I would have been, I would have been, uh, yeah, just take con doing it over and over again. Because sometimes um, when you're doing stuff with gel, um, you know, it, it just doesn't come out the way you plan. So I wanted to pre-draw them. Um, and just have a little bit of guideline. Um, I went outside of my guideline. Of course, obviously, it's just there for a guideline. Um, some of the ghosts I fattened up a little bit or, you know, made. Because you see the guideline, it's not. It just looks like a messed up balloon, y'all. So, I went in, made them look pretty. I wish I would have done one of these ghosts on this nail the other way. Like I did the top one. Um, so, they kind of looked a little bit better. But, y'all, this was my first drip nail that I did. Um, I wish I would have done the drips. If you look on my um, purple finger with the uh, glitter, you can see the little drip outline I did. I wish I would have done my drips a little bit longer, y'all, but this was my first time doing these drips. And here you can see I'm going in with the little mix I made and just like putting it on the nail over the wet gel. You want to have the gel wet for this. Um, and then you go in and cure it, obviously. But yeah, I wish I would have made my drips on my ring finger a little bit longer y'all because drips are a little bit longer um so yeah that's all i wish i would have did these came out so cute y'all the glow is freaking awesome with these her glow powders are freaking bomb.com y'all yeah so her glow powders are very nice um i think i have a lot of them in every color because she had like a pastel glow collection that's really pretty um so yeah uh, so here I'm just continuing to draw these ghosts, uh, and yeah, that's what we'll be doing, and then we'll be pretty much repeating the same thing on all the fingers, just drawing, you know, my ghosts, and then I'll be drawing my drip nail, and then we'll be watching these glow, y'all. Uh, tomorrow is, when is tomorrow, Thursday? Oh my god, this video is supposed to go out today, y'all. I'm a little bit behind, um... Just been busy, very busy, y'all. Work, my kids, um, my kids are back to school, so, you know, um, all kinds of stuff, y'all. Dances, uh, PTA meetings, like, uh, what are those meetings? Parent-teacher conferences, not PTA meetings, I don't do those. Uh, parent-teacher conferences, things like that. Just really busy, y'all. Um, yeah, life is lifing, okay? Life is lifing, y'all. So, yeah, let's just uh, continue to watch this. And again, I'm going to continue to draw the ghosts, go in with the uh, glow powder that I mixed with Amber Dips a Lot Eggshell Glow and the sparkles from Amazon. Um, I'm going to continue to do that. Curing, obviously, in between each nail um, that you want to do so you don't mess anything up. Uh, and yeah, we'll watch these the rest of the process. Um, and yeah, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, have an amazing day, night, wherever you are. And I'll see you all on the flip side, baby. That's right. I'll see you all on the flip side. Also, before I go, I just wanted y'all to know I'm using my bomb nail 20 millimeter liner. I love this. I love her liner brushes. They're amazing, y'all. Um, yeah. And have a great night, everybody. Have a great night.
I'm on you, got me falling from the 